Well, hello and welcome to another edition of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. I'm your host, Chris Green, the Director of Network Growth for the Avoya Travel Network. I want to take a second and wish you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. However you celebrate, if you celebrate, I certainly hope it's a joyous and wonderful occasion for you. So thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us for this week's edition of On Deck with Avoya. Wow, hard to believe two weeks left in this crazy year, right? Two weeks left in 2020. And I know for a lot of us, wow, we just can't wait to get this year in the rearview mirror and welcome in 2021. But a lot of us are wondering, what is that going to mean for the travel industry? I mean, wave season also just a couple of weeks away. Well, I can tell you at Avoya Travel, we are very bullish on the new year and very excited for what 2021 could bring for the travel industry certainly what it's going to bring for the Avoya Travel Network. And I'm going to do my best since this is the last update and our last On Deck with Avoya for the year to make this an upbeat and positive message as we head into the brand new year. So let's go ahead and get started with this week's On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update, some industry insights, and our eye on the industry feature and some noteworthy news. Uh, they extended the border closure this week for another month at least. It'll probably be several more months in my honest opinion. And that means really a technical issue as far as driving between Canada and the United States, United States and Canada, and United States and Mexico and vice versa, right? But like I said, it's kind of a technical issue because it really pertains to driving across the border because you can get in a plane and fly. You can fly to Mexico right now and still enjoy one of your favorite resorts more than likely, some of your favorite experiences. I know Canadians can still fly to the United States. I know that for a fact because I live in Florida on the Gulf Coast and many of my Canadian snowbird neighbors are back for the season, just like normal. And all they did was jump on a plane and fly back. So, um, you know, again, it's a bit of a technical issue. Um, and I think it's going to be extended for a couple of more months until the vaccine has a chance to kind of, as you would say, maybe work its magic. Uh, Royal Caribbean sold off a couple of older ships this week. Um, and while this is kind of a normal part of the process, obviously the timing was expedited because of the COVID-19 crisis. They, uh, they sold off the Empress of the Seas and Majesty of the Seas, the two oldest ships they had in the fleet. Again, not surprising for a company as innovative as Royal Caribbean, they were sold to undisclosed parties in Asia. And speaking of Royal Caribbean, I'm a big fan of Richard Fain, the CEO of that company. And Richard's been releasing a series of video blogs throughout this year. And on Monday, one was released uh, to travel partners. And it had some really interesting things of note as far as I was concerned. One, Royal Caribbean now believes that the vaccines being approved will be the biggest factor, not the updated self, uh, health and safety measures, but the vaccine will be the biggest factor in their ability to return to service. That's a big about face from just a couple of weeks ago when Royal Caribbean and most of the brands were really um, hopeful on the idea that they'd be able to kind of create a travel bubble on the ship. And even if the, even if the disease was still raging in parts of the country, that they would be able to keep everybody safe because of this new safety procedures. Looks like they're kind of going the opposite way now that the vaccine is starting to be rolled out. Sounds to me like they're kind of preparing for another month or two of delays, but as they said, once there's a return to service, it's going to be a, re a rapid return to service uh, once it reopens. The other interesting thing that I thought came from Richard Fain's uh, video blog was, too, that once the public health threat has been reduced, the demand for cruising and travel is going to surge. And I'm quoting Mr. Fain now, demand will grow quickly. People are tired of this Groundhog Day experience, and the demand for new experiences are going to blossom. So um, again, that's kind of a hopeful note as we head into 2021, especially as they're meeting right now. Um, and Moderna's vaccine is expected to receive emergency approvals. So and then you'll have two on the marketplace. Also happening in the news, and please excuse me if I take just a second to brag, but at this very moment, Travel Weekly's 2020 Reader's Choice Awards virtual event is happening. And our two co-founders, Brad and Van Anderson are receiving the Travel Weekly Lifetime Achievement Award. They are two of the recipients of that, uh, along with several other amazing travel executives from our industry. And it's not only well-deserved, but certainly is a point of pride for not only myself, but all of us here at Avoya Travel. As I said earlier, this year has been a really trying year. I don't need to tell any travel professionals that. Don't really need to tell anybody that for that matter, do I? But what makes a difference is how you face adversity. And at Avoya Travel, 
We've been trying to face it head on. And as I said earlier, wave season's coming and it's coming fast. And I wanted to share this quote with you from our co-president, Jeff Anderson. I found it inspirational, especially the ending of it. And I think anybody in the travel industry has to be excited when the co-president of a big company like Avoya Travel says this, the future of Avoya and leisure travel are very bright. We've all weathered this storm together over the last nine months. Our virtual conferences were a perfect opportunity for the Avoya network and Avoya supplier partners to build collaborative relationships and share information on what a safe return to travel will look like in 2021. Travelers lost a year to check destinations off their bucket list and we anticipate surging demand. Very exciting times are ahead. And again, I thank Jeff Anderson for that fantastic quote. And again, hopefully you take something out of it. Again, I think it's it's just a sign that the big players in the industry are anticipating, uh, you know, kind of an exciting year, to be honest with you. As we segue into our Authentically Avoya segment, I wanted to take a second and, and feature the philanthropic side of Avoya Travel because giving back has always been important to the Anderson family, to Avoya Travel and the members of the Avoya Travel Network. I've said it many times, but in my personal opinion, this is where the secret lies. Avoya Travel, we're a large enough company that we can really move the, the meter with the vendors. We get access to the best levels of commission. We get access to the best levels of promotion. We're able to craft those unique price points and those sales that make a huge difference for the members of the Avoya Travel Network to be able to sell to the clients. And this really was driven home to me several years ago um, when I attended my first Avoya Travel National Conference. Here we were having this amazing conference and right in the middle of that, they stopped. And they got everybody together outside, they put us in teams and we packed meals for less fortunate people. Some right there in the San Diego area, some went to Haiti because they just experienced an earthquake. But I'm telling you, it was a really amazingly inspirational moment. And it really, for me, drove home the fact that Avoya really does care. They just don't talk the talk, but they really walk the walk. And if you look at the organizations there, I know my picture's kind of in the way for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital and Toys for Tots, but Make-A-Wish and World, Found World Vision, Tourism Cares, the WWF, just some of the charitable companies that Avoya partners have helped with. And it, it does make a difference. If these meals didn't arrive in, in the places that they did, some people would have just went to bed hungry. And, and so again, I just am really proud to have my name associated with Avoya Travel and, and really excited that they, they make such a big deal about giving back. Not sometimes, but almost every time we get together, there's some kind of a charitable component to that. And again, I think it really makes a big difference. If you'd like to find out more, kind of where the heart and soul of Avoya Travel lies, please reach out. My team, again, would be more than happy to have that conversation with you. As we move forward onto our smart solution segment with Avoya Travel and on deck with Avoya, we wanted to talk about starting the new year strong, right? Like I've been mentioning, wave season is coming. And moving forward, right, there's so much promise in the new year. And Avoya's pledge to the members of the Avoya Travel Network are this. We're going to continue to support vacation planners from day one to day 365 next year and beyond, just like we did for all of 2020. We never let our independent affiliates down. You can find customized solutions and innovative resources to fit your business needs. New clients sent to you via live leads. How amazing is that? Stay top of mind with clients via Avoya's Marketing Resource Center. That thing is absolutely unbelievable. And then I hear it all the time, like, oh, I'm with XYZ host agency. And man, if I pick up the phone and call them with a question, it takes days and days for them to respond. Well, with Avoya Travel Support Live, pick up the phone, available seven days a week. You can broaden your skill set with the highest quality professional education from our mastermind program, from our Avoya University team, and get instant credibility and benefits with the, uh, with the American Express Travel and our affiliation. We've been a proud member of American Express for over 30 years now. And let me tell you, as a former affiliate, it makes a big difference because clients carry that card. And if you can help them with things like pay with points or the extra perks that they've come to expect being part of that uh, American Express travel program, it's going to go a long ways to not only having a client one time, but multiple times and bringing them back. So last week we talked about Q&A and we encourage you to send in some questions. And we did get 
Uh, several great questions. And the one we're going to feature today is from Melanie Hansen Haber. And Melanie asked us, she said she's interested in switching host agencies. We're not going to say who our current host is. We're not looking to throw anybody under the bus. But, but Melanie was wondering what the costs are to become an Avoya network agent, a member in the Avoya Travel Network. And Melanie, well, the simple answer is our normal affiliation fee is $495. And that covers the initial agreement with Avoya Travel and then a $99 renewal. But right now, we're really excited that we have this special offer in the marketplace for a qualified, experienced travel professional. We're looking to waive the fee for somebody, value for value is kind of the wording that I've been using, right? So if you're uh, an experienced agent, and maybe you have some future crews or future travel credits, clients that are holding on to those, maybe you have bookings that you've just made, but as you look around and you look at the resources that your current situation offers, you're not sure if that's going to be the best home for you in 2021. So you want to move those bookings over to your new home. You can complore, you can explore with complete flexibility, no long-term contract or exclusive agreement. Contact us again. My team would be more than happy to go over all the eligibility details, but here's the deal, right? Who you affiliate with, who you work with as a partner, that could make or break your agency as we go into 2021 and start to emerge from this COVID-19 crisis. Avoya Travel never competes with its own affiliate base. We provide resources, they do the sales, right? It's that simple. We believe in the power of great travel professionals. I personally think you'd be just a fool as a traveler to book a vacation and not use a travel professional. So again, reach out. We'd be more than happy to talk about this special offer. See if you and your agency qualify to have that $495 fee um, waived. And again, we're more than happy to give you all the details. Um, so again, thank you so much, everybody. 2020 has been just such a trying year for everybody. And, and as we go into 2021, again, I just want to wish you a, a really joyful holiday season, no matter how you celebrate, if you celebrate, if it's been one of those years where you got to get the Festivus pull out, right? If you remember that from the Seinfeld TV show, well, so be it. Anything that'll get us into 2021 in the right kind of attitude. Avoya Travel's been the number one host agency in the country for six years. That's voted by the travel industry, travel professionals. It doesn't happen. Why? We'd love to explain why vendor professionals, both publicly and privately, have expressed that they think Avoya Travel's shared success business model is the one poised not only for the fastest comeback, but the brightest future in this post-COVID travel industry. Again, we wish you happy holidays. We thank you for your time. We would love to hear from you. We would love to have that conversation. We would love to find out if together we can't create a shared success relationship like we have with thousands of independent affiliates over our amazing history. My contact information, my email, chris.green at avoyatravel.com. There's the phone number. You can always reach out to us through our website, avoyanetwork.com, or right here on Facebook. Maybe you have a question just like Melanie. And again, Melanie, thank you so much for, for providing us with that question today. You can always reach out through Facebook at the Avoya Travel Network Facebook page. We're going to be off the next couple of weeks celebrating with our families. Um, so, but we will be back that first Thursday in January 2021. Just saying the word sounds good. 2021. So, Again, thank you for your time. Have a fantastic holiday season. We look forward to seeing you in a brand new year with all sorts of brand new opportunities. Take care, everybody.